Hey, this is Erica. She's a high school student, and um, she seems like she's pretty good, so we'll find out. You can go first if you want. You want me to go first? So you probably know you probably know how to win, right? Is there a rule or something? She, there's a way to beat this game, but... Okay. I want to go center control, but I also want to cluster. All right, I'll cluster. Okay. Triple. Center control. Nice block on a triple horizontal. I'm going to go controlling the center column. And by doing that, I have five out of six positions on the center column. And she's got no way to cut horizontal or diagonal ever again. The only way she can win is going vertical, except for this and this. That's why the center column is so important in this game. If you're if you're playing strategy style. So there's the triple vertical. Lock. Okay. Now by doing this, I get a crossfire. That's a crossfire. The crossfire looks like this, and I haven't really introduced it too much, but it's a two-one split in this direction and a two-one split in this direction, and it leads to a stacked position, which means if she goes here, I win. But if I go here, she's forced to block me, and I'll still win on top of it. If I choose to do that. But you learn something, and that's the most important thing. Okay, now do I want to play cat and mouse and lose again? Because people like to see cat and mouse. It's like the one, I got 6,000 video hits off of cat and mouse. So I want to see if I can really do cat and mouse and actually win it, because I've actually lost to cat and mouse before. Um, I probably shouldn't do it. It's really risky. But I'll do it. I'll do a little bit of cat and mouse and try not to go too far like I did last time. Yeah, good. And this is like more united, we stand divided, we fall. So by uniting all my pieces and dividing all of yours, there's really nothing you can do anymore. Go ahead, try something though. What I call it is cat and mouse rude ta tactics. You probably hate me afterwards. I'll watch it with you if you go. If you don't already hate me now, that is. She just met me today, so um, she hasn't known me well long enough to hate me. Okay, now what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to create, this is my triple horizontal or triple diagonal that leads to a trap door. But now I also have this seven. I showed the seven before. The seven leads to a stack position. Now I actually own this position, which means you could choose to block it. Okay? So this is a trap door. I didn't see that. You actually filled in a trap door, so I could win here. 
but um, if I choose not to go here, then I'll still win if you go up here and here, because this is a stacked position. So I could actually force you up there now. Uh, I just went here. Your turn. No, it's my hobby from when I was a little kid, and I, I figured out ways to play this game and to make it more interesting, I guess. So this is triple vertical right here, so here's another way to win. And then if I go here, it's a 2-1 split, and I own this position. Well, actually, I owned it over here as well. So you can pretty much force me to win by going here or here. If you go here, I won't be forced to win. So anytime you want to end it. Okay, now this is the... Uh, oh, sorry, thank you. Okay, now it's a forced win. Good game. That was right here. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Good game, Erica. Thank you for playing, and don't get mad. Well, You're a very good opponent.